please check out the earlier videos. I'm just creating a rectangle in Publisher. And you can move it around. There's no text wrap. You need to go to the control bar and click text wrap settings. Tight, both sides and close. Now it's got text wrap. And you can resize it and as you do that, the text will wrap around it. But you can also go to file and edit in designer. Now designer doesn't have text wrap, but you can use the text wrap from publisher in that if you've got designer and publisher. And you can see the rectangle there. There's a lot of features in designer. You've got contours, you've got various other things. Some work well, but not all. But the thing that's really key to this video, symbols. Go to the symbols panel and click create. And that will create a symbol from that rectangle. You can see the symbol there. And you can still move around. It's still got the text wrap. You can go to the symbol in the layers panel, expand it out. And you can see the rectangle. You can select the rectangle and then you can click convert to curves. You prefer that, probably better to use it that way. Because then you can use the node tool and modify the nodes. You can also add nodes to that rectangle. So it doesn't look like a rectangle at all now. You can also change the color. And again, that's with the curve setting. You can turn it to blue, green. Also, you can select the symbol level and you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate. So now you've got multiple symbols. It's all the same rectangle or design underneath. And that design has got that text wrap. You can resize the symbol. You can also rotate the symbol and it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the underlying design. So you can reposition it, do all kinds of things and the text wrap will follow that design. You can expand it out and select the curve again. Now, if you resize a curve or change the color, all of them will change. You can also add a gradient. You can also go to the swatches panel and select a gradient from there. Go to the category gradients. You may have more or less. And you can see the design there and you can use the gradient tool if you wish. Select the move tool, select a curve. And now if you resize the curve, all of them will shrink, all of them will rotate. And depending on the original angle of the symbol, you will see the end result like that. Also, you can click the effects. Go to 3D, set 3D, set the radius and outer shadow or color overlay, gradient overlay and close. And that's at the curve level. Go to the node tool and you can modify them and they will all change if you use the node tool to change the nodes of those curves. Now, if you add a different design, another path, then it will not work. That unfortunately does not have the text wrap. Only that design has the text wrap. Now select the symbol and you've got blend modes. You can run through the blend modes. Go for darken, multiply, lighten, color dodge. And you can see as you do that, you see the design will change and you can see through that design. You can also change the opacity as well. Make it 40% or 80%. And you can select the curve, you can modify things again. All kinds of different designs can be created this way. And you can go file and edit in Publisher or photo if you wish. You're back in public and you can see exactly the same as you had in designer. You can continue to modify design and the text wrap will change. 